Our activists uh, often know less about a subject uh, than uh, somebody who is um, uh, has a neutral position, a neutral perspective on the thing. The, uh, activism is distorting your perspective on things, and the people that have the most distorted perspective also tend to be the most activist about it. If you think about it, right? Because you are Why the one that? who gets most agitated about it. If you are extremely agitated about a subject that is not important, you are going to be the activist. If you, uh, if so it's you the loudest about, voices that are the most emotional. Yeah, well, if you are the other way around, if you are the most emotional person, you, are, you tend to be the loudest one. I see, I see, I see, I see. And uh, but of course, it doesn't mean that activism is per se wrong, right? Uh, it just means that uh, the certainty that the activist has about things is often not justified. And it's uh, this is only basically a mes message to my younger self. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? Oh, when I was 16 years old, I needed a uh, new exactly what was in the best interest of the working class. Were you a Marxist? Uh, yeah, of course. I grew up in the system and it made so much sense. And the crisis... You were an activist. Marxism, an activist uh, Marxist. Yeah, I was basically willing to be an activist about this. And the, uh, when the wall came down, I was very much in favor of not reunifying with Western Germany, but I wanted to have a model that is more like uh, Scandinavia and uh, basically a third way one that wouldn't be as all out capitalist and so on. I also thought this idea of uh, keeping the factories collectivists instead of having them owned by billionaires would be much more just and therefore desirable, right? Similar to how many millennials see it right now, which say nobody should be a billionaire. A billionaire shouldn't exist because it's so unjust. But uh, and I thought when our working class voluntarily decided to be exploited by billionaires again, which they did when they voted for reunification under the conditions that were on offer, I thought they were confused and being manipulated by the press. And there was enough evidence that this manipulation took place, right? There was a lot of propaganda for making that happen. But what I was too stupid to realize is that this idea of justice only existed in my own head. And what was real to people was uh, under which conditions do you send your kids to school? What kind of food do you have on the table? What's the quality of your yogurt? Uh, uh, how uh, nice is your apartment? Uh, what's the quality of your carpet? How many days of holiday do and you have? And that matters more than billionaires owning a factory? Of course. It really matters. It really matters what the, what are your living conditions. And you, if, if you have a society where Elon Musk can unleash innovation because he is a billionaire and can control resources in which that a state-run committee of functionaries of the party cannot, right? Uh, this is the better so, society. So inequality is not bad as long as the lowest tier has a certain objective level of life satisfaction? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think it's very hard to justify a society that uh, you where you have equality, but everybody lives a shitty life. It's much easier to justify in, uh, a society in which uh, the medium income is very high uh, and uh, uh, the poor people live a good life and uh, there is an extremely high inequality. Inequality is not intrinsically bad. The question is uh, whether it's justifiable. And or uh, the opposite, whether the fight against inequality is justified by creating a world that is intrinsically better. And I think most people would agree that a world in which the majority lives better is the better world. Right. So this was a thing where I didn't understand the systemic relationships. And I thought that the you were certain respond, about it when you were 16. Yes, of course, because I didn't see the contradictions yet. I, I saw a simple logical uh, connection uh, that uh, flew from the Marxist theory that I saw the antagonism between the ruling class and the working class. I saw uh, the injustice that would result from the system. I saw the limitations that existed uh, within that system. I saw the trend of capitalism to destroy its environment and itself and to use more resources uh, than uh, it could replace and externalize the cost uh, of production to the environment and to people that were not part of the markets and so on. But uh, I didn't understand that the alternatives, all attainable alternatives were worse. And that the fact that our my own society was worse was not the result for, of lack of trying. I thought it was basically moral shortcomings of our government that led to the fact that socialism as we experienced it had worse outcomes than capitalism as other people experienced it. I didn't understand that the capitalism that existed in Western Germany was a system that was constructed in a better way than the socialism that existed in the East. Now, the difficulty is the capitalism that exists in Western Germany is also not sustainable in the long run. It's also going to crash as far as we can see. It's and not our, going to what about in the U.S.? Warming. Same thing. Same. Yeah. yeah, same thing. Only worse because the system is larger and the feedback loops are longer, so they're less effective. So it's better in the short run. 
uh, if you have a system we're that playing is more the best like, level of the game right now democracy works relatively well in cities and city states and it's very difficult to get it to work at the state level and it's almost impossible to make it effective on a level of a large nation state because the feedback loops are too long right it's very difficult to set the incentives for governance right so do we need a global government in some sense we need i think if we want to regulate our relationship with the environment properly because otherwise we will have a competition uh, about the things that we don't want to compete about for instance uh, if we don't have a global government, but we have free trade, we might have a competition about who is willing to allow uh, the destruction of the environment locally more than others. Right, or that's who happening is right willing now. to accept worse uh, conditions for their working class. And so if you had a global government, you would be able to regulate that. But uh, if you, uh, on the other hand, have a global government, you don't have a competition between different governments anymore. So you have no incentive for the government to govern well. How do you deal with that one? And uh, so as a species uh, or as uh, people that have political theories, we have not found universal answers to these extremely difficult questions.